Gamers. Um, so I wanted to talk about a very important issue when it comes to retro gaming or any sort of CD-based uh, collecting or movie-based collecting, and that is something called disc rot. Um, I just noticed my Virtual Fighter 2 for the Sega Saturn has disc rot. And surprisingly, many people do not know what this is. Um, disc rot is basically when a CD or DVD or other optical disc breaks down or deteriorates due to physical damage or sort of, sort of chemical deterioration. Um, Basically what ends up happening is you get all these little holes in it, um, which you can see here, like my disc, where you shine a light through and it, light will shine through, or you get this coffee colored discoloration, which kind of looks like this, kind of turns brown. Um, this happens for a variety of reasons. Um, one of them is physical damage, people mishandle their media. Number two is abrasions, uh, especially on the surfaces or edges. Um, now, another, another one is scratches. Um, we all see discs, they get scratches. Um, another one is ultraviolet, uh, damage, sun really damages optical media. And then the last one is actually a debonding of the adhesive. Basically the discs that when they were manufactured were manufactured very poorly. Um, there's a bunch more science behind it. You guys can look up all this sort of stuff. I got a lot of information on Wikipedia and just from talking to people and kind of knowing a little bit about this. Um, guys, this, is, this process is even worse in areas like Florida. Um, humidity really leads to this happening. Now, when we were buying discs back in the 90s, we were kind of always told that this is the media that's going to last forever. At the time, VHS tapes, they would stretch, they would start to deteriorate, and we were told CDs are going to last. It's the way of the future. Now we know CDs really have a life of about 100 to 200 years. Burn media has a life a lot less than that. Um, and then the way we handle our media discs can actually lessen the lifespan of them. Um, there are ways to help like protect your media. Um, store in cool, dry places. Um, if you are storing in a basement, make sure you have a dehumidifier. Keep them out of the sun. The sun is not our friend. You've got to see boxes that have been faded by the sun. This makes the process worse. Um, and guys, handle all these discs with care. Um, this is a major problem for retro collectors. Um, if you guys collect laser discs, HD DVDs, CDs, burn media, um, it's really bad for retro gaming, especially the old Sega discs, which include Sega CD, Sega Saturn, and Sega Dreamcast, all things that I do like to collect. Um, I hope this helps everyone. Let me know in the comments sections, you know, if you've experienced disc rot. I'm lucky enough that this game does still play. The rod is on the edges. Now, if I get later in the game, it might freeze because once you get those holes or that discoloration, the data that was there is, is gone. And I don't know of any other way to fix that, and I don't think I haven't seen anything you know other than that. Um, guys, remember, thanks for everything, for all your support. Remember, one man's trash is another man's loot. I hope this tips helps everybody. Make sure you look out for this, and guys, have a wonderful day.